Hi, everybody. My name is Dirk. I work for Dynatrace. And I'm here today to talk to you about what are challenges do we have right now with the OpenStack environments now that we have it up and running. And I want to show you like, what are the challenges and what you can do about it to get on top of your, let's say, application environment back again. So OK. <laughs> again, my name is Dirk. I work for Dynatris. Um You see my email address and my Twitter handle if you want to reach out for any questions that you're having, or if you're interested in finding out what we're actually doing in that space, listen closely to my presentation. And if you have any further up questions, our booth is right behind you. If you turn around right now, you can see it. And yeah, so what Dynatris actually does, we're um, an application performance monitoring company. We're a world market leader at that. And let's say with the rise of the dynamic container and cloud environment throughout the last years, we just saw the necessity to extend our support for those platforms as well, just to be able to give you a full stack monitoring approach to your applications again. So I want to start with a little anecdote, how I started with OpenStack and how what like my first touch point with OpenStack was. I started setting up a three node cluster by hand where actually everybody tells you not to do that anymore. So if you want to run it in production or something like that, you rely on, let's say, OpenStack distributions. And I tried out some different configurations. And what I found out during this process is that troubleshooting and, let's say, getting a grasp of what's going on in your cloud platform is actually pretty hard. So it's not that easy. You have to browse through several log files. So if you have, let's say, a, a medium-sized installation with HA, you probably have more than 100 log files that you need to look into if you want to figure out what's actually going wrong. So I was wondering how um, actually companies that use that in large scale worked it in production. And I set out to find, let's say, what are the monitoring solutions out there. And yeah, let's see what I found and let's see what we came up with. So let's take a second to talk about the challenges we're facing today. So we are past day one where setting up was the problem and getting OpenStack running and deciding if it's OK to use it or not. And now the case is that actually um, companies and, and, and DevOps guys and all of the people that are involved with OpenStack and the applications are interested in insights into, let's say, what's, how is my application doing, and also into insights, how is the cloud platform actually doing. And you see that OpenStack itself actually is an application based on microservice architecture. So you had several microservices on different nodes that are talking to each other. And so there is a complexity in the, let's say, cloud pl platform itself. So while on the one hand you get um, better control of your cloud platform, let's say in comparison to AWS, you actually get insights into what's going on in your cloud platform. You, on the other hand, also have to fix it if something goes wrong. So that's like the two sides of the coin you get with um, running your own private, private cloud platform. And the challenges that we're seeing actually is like dynamic environments, so dynamic application environments on top of OpenStack, and like dynamic auto-scaling with heat, for example, on an OpenStack cluster level. And well, large scale, right? Because if you have like a common monitoring solution you need to install manually, and you have 10,000s of nodes, you probably grow old before you even um, um, are able to get the first data. So what about the monitoring part of it then? As we've heard, we have dynamic deployments, dynamic applications that like in the morning are just, you have a few instances, and then at noon, like there's a load peak, and you just need to scale your application up just to be able to handle the load. And then in the evening, you will probably just scale it down again, so just to save resources and money in that case. And you would need a solution that actually supports these kind of use cases, right? And the next thing, actually, large scale. So what are you doing with, with environments where you have 3,000 nodes or 10,000 services? You need a solution that actually, let's say, takes the complexity out of the system again and provides you with data and answers. So there's actually two approaches you can follow. So if you're just interested in how your cloud platform's doing, you could just monitor the OpenStack platform and monitor compute nodes, controller services, and see if they're doing fine. That's OK. But usually, you run something on top of OpenStack, right? Usually, you run applications on top. 
that are generating revenue in somehow or providing a service to customers or end users. So what you actually also need to focus and worry about is all of the complexity that, that is actually working on top. So you have different application technologies, um, dynamic container solutions like Cloud Foundry, OpenShift, Kubernetes, and you would also need to worry about the end user performance of your application. Because the end user is actually the one that generates the revenue, and you need to take care of that. And you actually, you need to know if something's going wrong with your application. So again, if you only focus on one thing, if you only focus on the OpenStack thing, this would actually look reasonable to do, right? So he's changing the tire because it's a flat. Sounds great. So what happens if you don't see the big picture? Well, if you don't see the big picture, you're actually missing a lot. Because if you only focus on OpenStack itself, I think this is not enough information anymore. You also need to take care of the applications that are running on top and the end user experience just to be sure to stay in business nowadays. So the actual question is, do you have the right focus with your monitoring solution? Or um, yeah, do you have the right focus on the right thing then? And besides that, there's also then again the often cited, let's say, cultural change that's necessary. So we've been there with the DevOps movement that there has been a kind of a discrepancy between operators and developers and the blaming game and just pointing finger at each other then who's to blame now because something's going wrong. And we have the same thing again with OpenStack because you have, let's say, a next level of operators that are operating the cloud platform, which you would not have had before if you were not using a private cloud platform like OpenStack. And you just kind of have to make sure that they are all on the same boat and in the let, like have the same view again. So that if the boat is sinking, all of these four guys are going down, right? It's not just the application developers or the operators. And yeah, that's the, let's say, cultural change. And you need to approach that. And you need to take care that all of your people that are working with that are actually aware of that. Now we, we talked about the focus. And we talked about the people. And now, actually, given these facts, you should ask yourself, do you have the right tool for the job? Do you have the right tool for the job that you're actually trying to do? You want to monitor your OpenStack platform. You want to monitor your applications. You want to get insights into end user experience. So what you actually need is something that kind of consolidates all of this information into one product that you don't have any selective perception anymore. Of course, there are more sides to the same thing as we see here. So the operators may see it this way, and the, uh, the application developers may see it another way. But there is only one truth. So what would be the perfect uh, approach to that? Actually, just using one tool that provides you with all the information. And just, let's say, um, displays it in another way, um, just, let's say, focused on the part that you are interested in and you, that you are mainly working on. So what we actually need is a tool that provides you a holistic overview of your cloud platform, of your applications, of your user experience. And the fact is, Alan Clark from SUSE and Mark Cullet in, in Austin already told us that in a few years, the cloud platform will only just be there. It's going to be the de facto standard. So you actually can then focus back again on your applications and making your applications run smoothly. And in order to facilitate that, uh, let's say that monitoring need that there is apparently, um, you have several solutions that are out there right now. So I just managed uh, to write down, let's say, a few categories. So you have the log management area that only analyzes what's going on in the log files, because OpenStack obviously writes a lot of log files, like the Elk stack. Then you have system monitoring tools that mainly focus on resource utilization and if my CPU utilization is too high and if I'm running out of memory and stuff like that. You have some combined approaches, even like Monasca, which kind of like combines these two approaches into one. But then again, what about the applications and the user experience? There right now is, well, there is one tool out there that actually does that and I'd like to introduce you to that. It's actually we are now extending our support of application monitoring also to the cloud platforms. We have been supporting public cloud-like platforms like AWS, Azure, and stuff like that a long time. 
now we're actually like supporting also private cloud platforms like OpenStack. And I would just want to give you a, a brief intro about what we're doing there. So what you would get, you would actually get an overview of your OpenStack cluster, like how many computers do I have, how many virtual machines are running on them, how my controller services are doing. And what we do, we actually like watch all of those services and all of these processes and create the baseline out of these processes. So we don't follow the approach of setting alerts and, and thresholds. We just learn how the processes and services normally operate. And then if it deviates too much from the baseline that we've learned, um, we just provide you an alert then. So we just want to reduce the spam flood of, um, let's say, other tools out there that provide an alert each time the CPU utilization goes above 60%, for example. It could be that this is a normal behavior because on Monday morning, all of your users use the application at the same time. We are able to learn that behavior and know that this is just normal. Then at the, deta at the more detailed level, on the hypervisor level, you would get an overview of all of the virtual machines that are running on your hypervisor. And in addition to that, you would get uh, the resource utilization of each virtual machine on the hypervisor. So you just get a clear picture, OK, I have a hypervisor with eight vCPUs. How many vCPUs are the individual VMs using right now? Or do I need to move a workload to a different compute node? Uh, we actually provide data about CPU usage, memory usage, network usage, and also, uh, let's say, storage usage, use disk space. Then again, we support the multi-tenancy of OpenStack as well. So you just have, if you have several projects for your business units, for example, this is a common scenario. You would just like get an, an insights into all of the projects that you're getting, and you would just be able to get insights into that from a project view, not from a hypervisor view, which could be suitable if you need that. And then again, since we're around since more than 10 years, we are actually good at correlating stuff and finding out the root cause of stuff. So we not only provide you with data, we actually provide you with a root cause. And we provide you with what is actually the, the unique root cause of what has been going wrong in my environment. And we provide you with, let's say, a, a timeline, how the problem evolved over time, and all of the components that were interacting with each other to, let's say, be part of the problem. And, well, you could actually review your problem in, in retrospect just to see how it evolved over time and how it got solved. So, if you want to know more about Dynatrace and what we're doing in the OpenStack environment and what we're doing with application performing at a whole, please stop by at our booth. And That would be it from my side. Thank you very much.